Now, after we have drawn our four bar mechanism, which I have shown in the another tutorial, you can see its description below or on the screen. So, on the result, as a result, we have the four link lengths and their given positions, which are also visible here. So, these are the four positions of the four lengths of the links, and these are the four positions. Now, in this video, in this tutorial, we will try to put a motion to the input link. Omega 1 is the angular velocity of link number 1, which is 0 because it is the ground or fixed, which is not shown here, link even. The second velocity is the red link or input link here in our case, which is 25 radians per second. So we will see how to put to give this angular velocity and how to see the plot of the mechanism afterwards. Okay, to start with, we will go to motions and we will give a joint motion, rotational joint motion. I will click this and this is already set as 25 radians per second. So, 25 radians per second is the angular velocity I want to give based on the tabular values I have. If you have you, you don't see this radian per second, you can type it yourself. So after I type it, I have to click on a joint. So there are four joints with me. I want to apply this motion to this joint four in my case. So whatever joint number is for you, you can click this joint and this is 25 radian per second angular velocity applied on it. Now we want to simulate this thing. So I will go to simulation. Here I go to the simulation control. In that simulation control, I have the end time of 5 seconds and the step size of 0.1. It means 51 uh, set step size because it will have initial zero step as well. So I can also increase the number of steps here and decrease the end time because 25 radians per second is a very high speed. So there will be a large number of revolutions. I can make it cost 2 pi's or 6.28 at approximately is one revolution. So 25 is very fast. So maybe I can put the end time to be two seconds uh, and I make this uh, zero one step size. So I can look for the verification of the mechanism. So everything is fine. There is no verification errors. And now I click the blue, uh, the green button to run the simulation. So it has simulated for a large number of even some still many uh, cycles. And then for going for the plotting, I will go to this icon, the blue icon of plotting, I will click it. And I have this one. If you don't see this, you have to go to this double page layout here. After you click it, you will see these two things. Here you can see load animation. And when you load animation, you will see this four bar mechanism. On the left side, you click here and whatever you will select, you will see the plot here. So for each window, you have to click that window and the settings of that thing will come on the bottom. So when I click this animation, click I, I, this animation window, I get the settings of this uh, animation and control. And when I click this plot window, I see the settings of the plot on the bottom. So in the plot, I will go to source. In the source, I will go to objects. And then I have to select the body. And the body, I have three types of objects, link number two, three, and four. I look for the center of mass of the link number two, and I go for its angular velocity and its magnitude. And when I click add curve, this is the angular velocity uh, of this uh, red link. So that is shown in degrees per second. So 25 radians per second, if you put it in degrees, it will be some fair here. Now I want to see the angular velocity of my link number three. So I will click the center of mass of link number three, angular velocity, magnitude, add curve. So this is, you see in each cycle, it is rotating itself and it's showing. Then I go to the link number four. And in the link number four, I again, go for its center of mass and its angular velocity and magnitude. And if I put that curve here, this is like this. So these are all the curves for 
almost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 8 uh, cycles of this red 4-bar, uh, this 4-bar mechanism has been shown here. So now if I click here and I, this is the speed control of the animation so you can make it faster or slower, I put it somewhere here and I click it so I can see the mechanism moving and what is the runtime velocity values are also moving here. So I can see the values here and I can also see the uh, mechanism moving. I can press F to fit it and see here if I press zoom and go out so I can also see this. I can decrease or increase the speed or I can also stop the mechanism somewhere and here is the option of recording so if i click here it will record the video and also record this animation so if i take it to the start and it also asks me what is the frame increment what is the start and end what is the loop what type of loop i want to use so if i want the animation according to the curve or time marker so there are different options available you can play with them and you can get your video or animation settings so if i press r now and i run it so it is recording each frame now and this is about 30 frames recorded so Okay, so I recorded about 70 frames and I can export this file and uh, save this as a media file. So this is how you can see your velocities and video settings in MSC Adams. So this is not only for the angular velocities, you can look for the angular acceleration and angular other properties as well and also you have different options of translation with displacement velocity and acceleration for various points you can choose any marker and you can plot its definite uh, relative value there on the plot also in the curves you have the option to go one curve per plot or you want all the curves on the same graph so all these three angular velocities are having different colors and all of them have the same unit here even if you want for different units different units will be displayed on different axes of this plot. So that's it for the uh, analysis plots of a four bar mechanism using atoms. And uh, don't forget to uh, comment, like the video and uh, subscribe for the next coming videos. Thank you.